Love is Blind season two. And this is my congratulations video to Iana and Jared. I know I'm late getting this video out and I meant to do one for Nick and Danielle as well, but I don't know if I'll get to that, but I definitely want to get out my video for Iana and Jared because I'm going to tell you, they touched my heart the most out of all the couples. I am so happy that Iana chose love over fear, ego, and pride, because that's what she had to do to still say yes to Jared. She had to say no to the fear. She had to say no to her ego. And she had to say no to her pride and say yes and take a, and take a chance. And she played big and took a chance and it has paid off for her, and I am so happy for her. When all that stuff went down with Jared and Mallory, so many people on the blogs, the chatter, everything was telling Yana to say no, telling her she had low self-esteem, telling her she, she shouldn't be second choice, telling her that she's a pygmesia and all these other bad labels people put on her. And I am so happy that she was in those pods or in that isolated area where she couldn't read social media. She couldn't read what people were writing because had she listened to some of that stuff, she might've actually changed her mind and not said it. She might not have been strong enough to stand up to the scrutiny and everything that people were saying out here in the streets. I'm glad she didn't let people calling her foolish and that she was making a big mistake. I'm glad she ignored any of that that might even be going in her own head, all that fear, ego, and pride. And she said, yes. I always thought that Iana was the better match for Jared. I really did always think that. And what's so interesting is at the reunion, Salvador and Mallory were there. And I can tell you, I could tell that they realized that the real winners were Iana and Jared. See, going into this, Jared was the loser because he supposedly lost Mallory. And Iana was the loser because supposedly she was second choice. But sitting on that stage, cuddled up, kissing and hugging and showing real love, both Salvador and Mallory realized they were the losers. Salvador thought he won something when he won Mallory, but he quickly found out he didn't win shit. And Jared might have thought at the time that, that Mallory said no to him, that he was losing something, but he realized he didn't lose he won 10 times over in Iana. I even now have a different opinion of that whole bar scene when Jared had the conversation with Mallory. When it went down, I was team Jared and team Iana. But let me tell you, Jared made me really mad because at the time I was thinking that Jared was trying to somehow straddle the fence between Iana and Mallory. But after I watched the reunion, I heard him speak. And I heard, uh, I saw other scenes of that night. I realized that that's not what Jared was doing at all. By the time Jared had that scene at the bar with Mallory, he was already 10 toes down for Iana. In fact, we actually find out that Iana and Jared even had sex on the honeymoon. Now that was something new. What I came to realize about that scene was that was Jared gloating. His own pride and ego was shook when Mallory said no to him. But when he stepped to her at that bar, he wasn't he wasn't begging for her to come back to him. Uh, uh. What he was doing was saying, look what you lost. I look what you lost. He was gloating. Now, do I think it was right? Do I wish he hadn't done that? I don't think he was right. And I wish he hadn't done that. But now that I understand it wasn't because he was trying to um, impress Mallory and, and then somehow put Iana down that it was more of this male ego and pride thing. I understand it a little bit more. Did I like it? No. Do I still like it? No. But you know what? I liked his apology. I liked the fact that we didn't see a lot of scenes going on. That was some editing going on, but there was a lot of apologizing going on in the background with Jared to Iana. There was a lot of assuring her that no, she's her first choice. There were a lot of I love you's. There was a lot of you're the one for me. And that is also what made Iana have the confidence to say yes to Jared. We didn't see all of that, but there was a lot behind the scenes. They showed some extra little steamy clips of them in the shower and a lot of stuff we didn't see. But I am so happy for these two. On my channel, I've been doing these marriage conversation video, uh, videos. And one of the videos I did one called Marriage is a Risk. And let me tell you, Iana proved my point that marriage and love is a risk. And people who are scared of taking the type of risk that Iana did, 
they're not ready to get married because marriage is a risk because no person that you might fall in love is perfect. They're going to make mistakes, mistakes that are going to actually hurt you. And if you cannot get over some mistakes, if you cannot get over your fear, your pride and ego, more than likely you will miss out on love in your lifetime. I was so happy to see this love story unfold. So many times me and all of you guys, all us fans, we watch these reality TV shows, which I love reviewing. And a lot of times we are disappointed. We're dis disillusioned. We're angry. We're all of that. But let me tell you, these two deliver an epic fairy tale love story. And I am here for it. And I hope it gives a lot of women hope out here that you know what? You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to let your pride and ego get in the, get in the way. You can take second chances on men that messed up before. You can go out on a limb and risk, risk looking foolish if it means you might find the love of your life. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone does things to hurt someone that they love, but they wish they didn't hurt them. But we do. We have to be resilient when it comes to love. We have to be willing to take second chances, to go out on limbs, to risk fear, pride, and ego, just like Iyana did. We have to believe that people can change. Just like Iyana used to say um, in the beginning of the episode or the beginning of the series, she said she didn't really like kissing nobody. And guess what? Every time I see that girl, she's kissing all over that husband of hers. And you know what she said in the end? She says, I guess it just took the right person to change who I was. And that's it, everybody. People can change. If you are the right woman in a man's life, that man can change some things about himself for you. And you know what? You can change himself, change some things about yourself for him. But in order for people to change, you've got to give them a chance. You've got to believe in them just like Iyana did. I'm so happy we got our love story, y'all. And I can't wait for season three of Love is Blind.